The first trailer for Craven the Hunter, one of the most anticipated movies of 2023, has been released, revealing Craven's altered origin story and some of the villains, who will appear in the film. We seen him jumping through a building, chasing bad guys, using wolves to hunt his prey in snowstorm, and also using falcons to locate his enemies. But the most interesting part of the trailer was, when we see him rising to his feet in a forest, as hundreds of massive spiders descend from the treetops. Craven looks unconcerned, as the spiders make their way to the ground. It's a direct reference to Spider-Man. But the main question is which Spider-Man will appear in Craven the Hunter? Will it be Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man? Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man? Or Tom Holland's Spider-Man? The answer is not very difficult. If you pay attention to the shape of the spiders, they resemble Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man, he also has the same kind of spider logo, in his back and chest. Even in the Amazing Spider-Man 2 post credits scene, we noticed Kraven's spear in Oscorp Tower. So Kraven the Hunter was always destined to face off, Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man. Kraven is a former Russian nobleman, and big game hunter unrivaled in his skills, and constantly looking for new game to challenge himself, after learning of Spider-Man's existence. Craven became obsessed with hunting and defeating him, thinking he was his ultimate prey. Craven and Spider-Man also had some major conflicts in the comics, Craven can control all animals to defeat and track his enemies. But only spiders scare him. When he discovers that there is a superhero named Spider-Man, who has the same powers as the spider, finding and defeating him becomes his ultimate goal. Later, during Craven's final hunt, he wanted to show Spider-Man his superiority. Craven embraced his more bestial side, and tried to kill Spider-Man so he could replace him and prove himself better, he didn't actually kill him, but buried him alive. At the same time, Vermin leaves the sewers and starts eating people in the city. Craven, then dressed as Spider-Man, fights with him to prove that he can beat him without the help of Captain America, who helped the real Spider-Man beat him the first time he faced him, he does win the fight and locks Vermin in a cage. But after being trapped in a coffin for two weeks, Spider-Man woke up to find Craven. Craven then unleashed the Vermin, which attacks Spider-Man, but quickly ran back into the sewers. Spider-Man then hunts Craven down and successfully defeats him. Then Craven confessed everything and killed himself. So what are your thoughts about this? Are you excited for Craven the Hunter? Let me know in the comments and watch this video to see my full breakdown of Craven the Hunter first trailer and make sure to subscribe nowhere official and press the bell icon to get notified when I post new videos. See you till next time.